What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. I have another movie haul to show you today. So I got more DVDs to show and one VHS. So I'm going to show you, um, let's get started with a DVD. And this one is called Goobers from the creators of Prehistoria and Dragon World. It almost looks like one of those full moon horror movies, but it's a kid movie called Goobers. And it's made by Moonbeam Films, so I guess Moonbeam and Full Moon work together? I don't know. But it looks like the same actors who was in a Full Moon movie called Head of the Family. So that's how I connect it. So got Goobers. And I have Ellen the Generous, Tom Selleck, Tom Everett, Scott, and Kate Capsall in The Love Letter. And here is the VHS tape. And this movie takes place in 2025, so two years from now. A revolutionary, revolutionary sport is the only way to stop a revolution. And it's called Future Sport. Dean Kane, Vanessa Williams, and Wesley Snipes. So in 2025, this is going to happen. And I found this double feature, and I couldn't believe I found it, because I can. this is an upgrade for me, and a space saver, and a, I can get rid of two VHS tapes that I never thought I would find on DVD. But this is a double feature of... American Ninja 2 and American Ninja 3. And it's like, they're action movies, but they're made in the worst possible way where, I don't know how to explain them, but it's like over-the-top action where you don't think it would actually happen. So, American Ninja 2 and 3. Glad I got that. And Gary Busey, Oz Perkins, and the movie Quigley. Gary Busey is the voice of the dog, so, yeah, so, or did I, am I getting that wrong? I see Gary Busey on the back. Uh, oh, okay, Gary Busey dies, goes to heaven, and is sent back to earth in the form of a dog. Okay. And it's been so long since I've seen this movie. It stars Kenan Thompson, Fat Albert. It's been so long since I watched this. Uh, it has Kyla Pratt from uh, the Night Professor movies, and she's also in Call Me Cat. Bill Cosby has an uh, appearance in this movie, so that's pretty cool. As a person, uh... But as an actor in a Fat Albert movie, yeah, so. Uh, Ewan McGregor, Alex Pettifer, Alicia Silverstone, and Mickey Rourke, and Alex Ryder, Operation Stormbreaker. Never heard of this, but the cast seems pretty good. So I guess I'll check that out. Got a, what would you call it? A horror movie from 1973. Classic horror. The Legend of Hell House. Yeah. This looks pretty good. And I have a double feature here. They're both Wesley Snipe double features. Uh, the Recall and Nine Lives. So they're basically action-filled uh, Wesley Snipes movies, so and they look pretty good. So, and I've never seen this one, but I kind of been one to. It's uh, the Jim Carrey version of A Christmas Carol, with Jim Carrey in it, or the voice of uh, Jim Carrey, Gary Oldman, Colin Firth, Bob Hoskins. Robin White Penn, 
and Carrie Hughes. All right. Now I saw this movie and I had no idea what it, what it's about. But is it a horror? It's like a horror, but it's like a heavy metal band takes over an airline. It's called Turbulence Three Heavy Metal with Rutger Hauer, and this movie looks amazing. It's probably like a really bad horror movie, but I love those. And it's basically a heavy metal band on a jumbo jet. And I guess it's not the band, but there's a serial killer fan. Like a fan who's a serial killer on the plane that loves the heavy metal band. So Turbulence 3, heavy metal. This is like a fantasy adventure movie, The Sword and the Sorcerer. Because when I watch like old um, fantasy movies like this, I always think of those retro RPGs like on Nintendo and Super Nintendo, which are my favorite. They don't make them like that anymore. So The Sword and the Sorcerer, like those fantasy adventures. And I got the original. This is the original. I've never seen the original, so I'm, I'm ready to watch this one. George Romero's The Crazies. I've never seen the original. I've seen the remake, and I thought that was amazing. So I can't wait to check this out, see how good this is. Greg Kinnear in Dear God. Uh, I don't think he plays Angel. I think he, he goes to prison and he's basically a con artist. And he, I guess, there's letters addressed to God and he plays God or acts like God and writes letters back to people to get money. I don't know. Dear God. A four film pack of The Substitute. One, two, three, and four. So I got all four Substitute movies. That's pretty cool. Nice space saver right there. Julia Roberts and Richard Gere in Runaway Bride. It's been a while since I've seen this. So I got a Robin Williams double feature. I basically got it for one movie, but I guess I'll watch the other one. Jacob the Liar and Moscow on the Hudson. So I know Jacob the Liar is probably like a sad movie. And Moscow on the Hudson is probably a comedy. So I basically got it for this. But I'm going to watch both. And hopefully this will be pretty good. I got a triple feature here. This is actually an upgrade slash pickup. Because one of the movies I already have that I can get rid of. Triple feature of The Italian Job, Primal Fear, and The Score. And Edward Norton is in all three. So I guess that's why they made it a triple feature. I got that one. Then I got Season 1, Volume 2 of Blue Collar TV. I like these stand up Jeff Fogg, Bill Engvall, and Larry the Cable Guy. I like them. And Ron White, too. Alright, and the last movie here is Season 2 of Young Sheldon. I actually got this for a buck, a dollar, and a pawn shop. Yeah, so I kind of went to a pawn shop just because I've been in a pawn shop before. In, not before, but in a long time. And there were DVDs for a dollar, and I was going through them, and this was in there. So I grabbed this for a dollar, and I grabbed a bunch of other movies, but I know this was one of them, so... Young Sheldon, second season, for a dollar. Anyway, that is my haul for the day. Let me know what you thought of it, and I will see you all in the next video. See you later.